wanted to be a very physical week of practice and if he was you know really amping his energy level up i mean can you describe what he was like during the week of practice and why practice is so much more physical man you know this this week was a big week you know because it's a big game and plus it was the next game so really you know coach allen stressed to us all week during practice being aggressive and being physical especially with these guys because you know michigan was a, a definitely a good physical team but we just had to be the more physical team today and uh, try to pull out that W like we did. Hey, Stevie. Big emphasis this week on the running game and the offensive line. Talk about the job that those guys up front did for you. Man, the guys did a great job. You know, uh, all week uh, our offensive coordinator, Coach Sheridan, was stressing to the linemen to, to strain out their blocks and finish their blocks all week. You know, sometimes the guys will get frustrated up front, but coach, all the coaches are just doing it to help us better ourselves and, you know, so it can translate to a game. All right, Boosie and Sammy. Hey, Stevie, could you get a sense that you, uh, they were tiring as the game went on? Uh, you know, dominating, you dominated the, the time of possession, you almost, almost doubled them today. Mm -hmm. It's funny how the roles switch, you know. We just, I feel like this, uh, we had the ball and we just grounded and pounded them, those guys out till they got tired. And, you know, I feel like we had great fatigue and stamina just to keep uh, going hard this, the whole fourth quarter to finish it out. All right, Sammy and Kevin. Uh, Stevie, congrats on the win today. Thank you. Uh, just what was the feeling grinding that last touchdown out and then getting that big first down and milking away that last five minutes and five seconds after so many times of not being able to finish a game. Uh, definitely was a great feeling, you know. Everything I do is for the team, just to help us win or whatever we could do, you know, to stay on top. So getting that touchdown, uh, you know, pushes uh, uh, the lead a little farther ahead was, you know, definitely vital for us. And, you know, that, that last drive, just getting those first downs is just to keep the chains moving and just so we could just maintain the ball and, and the, the uh, time management. That was definitely vital. So I feel like those things we worked on in practice a lot and it translated to the game today. And, you know, I'm just very excited for me and my team, my coaching staff that, you know, we're finally starting to change this program around and, got, and get it headed in the right direction. All right, Kevin, that's time, Bruce. Really seeing guys were really successful throwing the ball in the first half, but how did it feel for both you and Samson to kind of establish that run in that second half and, and get that balance that you guys needed to close out the game? Uh, definitely, I love the rotation with me and Samson, you know, having, uh, having my guy go in there, you know, just – grind out a few yardage and, you know, just helping Mike be able to throw the passes. And, and Samson just doing his job, you know, that's definitely a great feeling. You know, I love to see my teammates doing good. And I feel like that one-two connection we were talking about all offseason is definitely going to start to come into play in the next few weeks. You know, I'm just happy to see Samson, you know, getting his feet wet for, like, the first few times. And I feel like, you know, eventually he's going to pick up even more and he's going to, you know, be a great player here. All right, Tom Bruin, then it looks like Gravity's the last one. Stevie, you guys were so aggressive on offense especially in the first half there, just one good positive drive after another. When you guys are kind of rolling like that, and you guys kind of feel it play after play that something good's going to happen every time? Uh, really, you know, we just we just got that one and all mindset, you know. Even if something bad happens, you know, we try not – we actually not try. We don't get any negative vibes or any negative mindsets, you know. We just still try to put forward to being positive and just try, you know, uh, gain yardage and do whatever we have to do to keep the offense rolling, you know, to keep the defense off the field and keep them well rested. So, you know, by the time they could come back on the field, they could be well, you know, ready to uh, stop the offense. So, really, we just, man, it's just a great feeling right now. All right, Brad, last one for Stevie. Stevie, obviously Michael Penix had, had a really good game, but he was just really special in that first half. I think it was 254 yards or so. What is it about him that makes him capable of being that good on this stage when it's really important? Man, love Mike, man, for real. You know, he's a vers so, such a versatile player. You know, he could open he opened the fields up, you know, for the running backs and receivers. You know, he could throw the ball. He could run. He could do whatever you need for him to do. Just like he's a, a team captain. So, you know, he's a leader on his team. And I feel like he's been leading us the, in, all, in all the right ways this whole season. You know, we, we got this great start off to the season at 3-0. And I feel like Mike it definitely has been, you know, the leader of that. And I feel like, you know, we're just following behind his lead. And we're just going to keep grinding it out for the rest of the season. All right, Brad, thanks, Stevie. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, guys.